welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy like i'm so excited to have you here returning subscribers you're most welcome new subscribers thank you guys for joining the family anyway let me go straight to the point so when i was a kid when i was this this young like <laughs> this this no this i think i think this young this short when i was young we used to make dolls and we used to make the dolls out of fibers oh my goodness the dogs are over barking anyway we used to make dolls from banana fibers and yeah i feel like this is memory lane and i don't want to leave you guys out so we got our fibers already here so we are going to start making the dolls Oh, <laughs> when you're doing these dolls from banana fibers, you start with making the head. Like, you make a head, it has to have a head because it's a doll and it's. So, I have this. I don't know whether you guys can see. I have my knife here. I roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it <laughs> to this. Then, I really want. Oh, no. I have a feeling it's great of a big head. So I had I add this. Ah, this. So after making the head, you start putting the I don't know how to call it, but you guys just watch. It's another fiber. I remove I put this these outside parts because they don't really look nice. Then I put it here like this are you seeing it's already a girl <laughs> this is funny anyway i put this then another fiber i have this one but i was first removing this outside parts because they, they don't look so nice if, if i put this one like this then this one has to go there like this to be proper like this but these outside ones are not giving it shape so you need these outside ones these ones that are possibly I remember like some guys would put stones in inside here like as so that doll would really have a hard head imagine so that doll would really have a hard head the doll would have a hard head so we have this then since i put this like this not into my fibers i'll get another one and move this outside part this is like this so this one is going to go there like this then i remove this one so it's not looking nice making that, that dolly to look bad wait a minute yeah, then it would be like this. Yes, are you seeing? I'm going to put hands and it will look so like a real baby. Get other fibers. This one is a bit big. Like a big baby or a small baby? I think let me make a small baby. But you, if you want a big baby, you just keep adding, adding, adding more banana fibers, adding, 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 and then the baby will become big. I'm going to make a baby girl, <laughs> but I'll also show you. Oh, it's, okay, it's a doll, not a baby, but I'll also. Is it only me who used to play with such babies when I was a kid? So if you are among those ones, or if you come from Africa, to be specific, Uganda, comment down below like. And I remember we, we, we used to even make our babies have hair. No, actually, let me just make this baby girl. Then after I also plate her hair so that you guys can see. So I think this is an enough. The head is enough. 
so after I tie around here to support the head I'm going to tie here tie around here This banana fiber then. Seeing the baby is here. <laughs> then you remove this because they're not looking cute there. The outside thing. Ta-da! But the baby has no I don't know why I'm calling it a baby. Anyway, the doll, the doll has no hands, so we also need to put hands. This, this is our doll. I've, I've added one more banana fiber. I just wanted it to be a little bit big. So we are done with our head. We put this round thing. Some people would put those days like when we were still kids. We would put like how do they call them beads. So that it's like a necklace instead of just this so for the hands how are we putting the hands are you seeing this this one just protruded from here it's also banana fiber then plus this these are going to be the hands but they need to be shaped so it, you squeeze them around each other like and then they have to be i think hands are equal so i'm going to cut this one to reduce it being so long you can't Ta but then we need to cut i'm going to tie them and twist them so well so that they are balanced guys now the baby has hands but the dress is a little bit not organized so we are going to organize the dress then after plate some hair plate the baby i don't know why i'm calling it baby okay then plate the doll some hair okay we are going to cut this down apart because it's not looking nice But we want to place the baby some hair. So let's go to the hair yarn. Ta-da! I think this is the final look for a doll. A baby doll, which is a girl. This is it. And I put some hair. I think you can you can, you can plate it any hair of your tie of your wanting and all that. So just this simple simple hair or you can braid it if you want but then I think this baby should only have a puff yeah only a puff just another banana fiber to tie to tie her puff where am I <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it a baby but it's a doll guys I just over used to play with this when I was a kid probably I'm stuck with calling it a 
Mm, this is the hair we've tied this. But if you want to make a baby, I don't know why I'm calling it a baby. Okay, if you want to make a, a male doll, you just separate here. Let me turn it into a male doll. It's, oh, let me just use a knife because it's not even separating. You separate it here like this. If you want to make a male doll, separate it here. And then tie it so that the, the legs are separate. I have my tiny banana fiber here. Let me tie one leg to show you. So guys, this is it. This is our baby dolly, our doll. If you want to make a male doll, it's just that I first made a, a, a doll that was I first made a, a feminine doll. That's why it has this hair. Ta-da! <laughs> this is it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. It's even getting late.